Hey there, this is No Joe's Cards. I'm here with my papa today. Hoorah. And we just uh, came back from a Tulsa Drillers opening day, which the Tulsa Drillers won uh, seven to zero. It was a good game. Too. Yeah, we had lots of home runs and uh, it was- Back to back home runs. Back to back run. home runs, yeah, it was very eventful. So uh, here's a, uh, before we show some autographs, here's a opening week uh, program that we got there. And it has- Hornsby. Yeah, Hornsby right there and the stadium. We were sitting, this is the home side right here. We were sitting right about right there. Uh, right by, in 103, right by the dugout so we could possibly get some autographs. And they have all their, um, the roster on here. And uh, one guy on here, Ryan Ward here, he's not part of the Tulsa Drillers anymore. He uh, He's now uh, promoted to the Oklahoma City Dodgers and I was able to get his autograph uh, last year. But here's what we got. Uh, we bought this ball at Walmart official Major League Baseball. Uh, they're pretty, selling it for a pretty good price. And uh, we got, we'll start off with this one, Carson Taylor on there. He's a catcher for the yeah. Tulsa Drillers. Yeah. A little smeared on there, but. Good catcher too. Yeah, he is a very good catcher. And then our best autograph uh, that we got was uh, Landon Knack. He's uh, the number 20 prospect uh, for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, a pitcher, he actually started the game, uh, started pitching for the game, for the opening day. So it was awesome meeting him and uh, got to hand my pen to him to sign a few others and got that. So I'm gonna put that where it's showing him right there. Just wish uh, they would do it on the sweet spot Every time I get one, they don't sign the sweet spot. Yeah, I know. So. But I guess they don't know where the spotlight is on those. Yeah, yeah. But then we got, uh, we went to my sports card shop, and JSA was there. And uh, we got this authenticated here. Uh, Jim Busby, right there. Mm -hmm. And you can also see that's his, I think that's from 1960 tops. And, um, I think he's, he's next to the sweet spot, but he's yeah. not even signed it. Yeah, see there, right there. And then, um, here, I'm gonna take this out here and okay. hold on the stitches here. But, um, there, we thought there was only two autographs here. I thought that said bless. Well, that's actually uh, three autographs on this baseball. But uh, first we'll talk Jim Busby. He uh, played from 1950 to, uh, let's see, 1962. And he was an all-star in an all-star game in 1951, his second year playing. So this baseball was Signed the early 70s when he was a uh, um, coach, coach for yeah. the Atlanta Braves, yeah. And these are some players back here. And uh, down here, which we knew that was there, is Hal King. Yeah. And he uh, played from 1967 to uh, 1974. And he played for originally for the Negro League. And uh, with the Indianapolis Clowns. The Clowns. Yeah, Indianapolis yeah. Clowns. <laughs> uh, funny names. Yeah, I know uh, Tulsa used to have an Eager League, and they were the T-Town Clowns. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and every every year they have a game where they honor uh, the Tulsa Drillers, and they dress up in the T-Town Clown jerseys. Okay. So, and then right here we have... Uh, uh, Gil Gar Gorillo, Gar 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 something like Gorillo, and uh, he played from 64 to 72, 
Now, he wasn't like a star player, but his father uh, started in the Negro Leagues. So, a little cool fact. But, um, I know, I saw a uh, autograph on eBay of Hal King, a uh, card that sold for eighty dollars. Okay. And okay. Uh, and Jim Busby an autograph. Now this was on the sweet spot, but I saw his autograph on a baseball for a hundred dollars uh, yeah. listing. Mm -hmm. And uh, now who was it that uh, that played so many different uh, major league that? skipped around about every two yeah, years. Yeah, so Jim so. Busby, uh, he played about, uh, for almost every major league team back then, uh, every two years, every yeah. once or two years, and sometimes was even traded uh, the same year. Yeah. Played for half the season with one team and the other half with the other. But, yeah, I don't remember how many. Yeah, so sorry for that interruption there. We had a phone ring in and we had to answer that. But, uh, yeah, Jim Busby played for almost every major league team there and uh, switched around every once or twice, you know, every twice a year. Yeah. So, uh, and then he started coaching in the late 60s or 70s, you know, or early 70s, so. But a good player. A good player, a good yeah. Player. I mean, every team, mm -hmm. and they all seemed to like him, uh, at least for a couple of years. <laughs> Yeah, at least for a couple of years. And uh, we got that JSA authenticated, and it came out authenticated, or real. So, then the only other authenticated uh, we did was this Levi P. Morton. Uh, he, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about him. You'd have to, because I doubt if he did one. Yeah, he's known as, like, the forgotten vice president, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, he served under Benjamin Harrison, and uh, he signed this later on, October 9th, 1902. Uh, but he started his uh, uh, politician career from uh, uh, as a congressman from 79 to 81 uh, for Virginia. Then he went on to be the... Uh, President James Darfield uh, appointed him as the United States Minister to France. Uh, he actually was offered the vice presidency, but uh, Levi P. Morton said no. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't his time yet, I guess. And then uh, after that, 81 to 85, then he went to, then he became the 22nd vice president serving under Benjamin Harrison from 89 to 93. Uh, and, um, but see, that's a few years after his vice presidency, mm -hmm. but, um, and then lastly, he served as the 31st governor of New York from 1895 to 1896. Did you say that he never, never did move into the White House? No, he never moved into the White House. He stayed on his own, re in his own residence. Uh, in Washington, D.C. So. That's interesting. Yeah, and if you see right here, uh, I believe this is his residence in Virginia. Because he okay. moved out of Washington, D.C. by that time. And uh, uh, Ryan Cliff on Hudson. I don't think either one of them really got along with each other. No. Uh, they, Benjamin Harrison did not like to involve Levi P. Morton in political matters. And didn't very uh, much. Not very much. I mean, there were times, but uh, like with the Lodge Bill and all that. But uh, but if you see on the back, it looks like it might have been like in a scrapbook or something. Or um, I know this came from his home because Ryan Cliff on Hudson was where uh, he lived. Uh, but that, it was a really cool buy that I bought. It, it's a cut autograph, so there was more to this uh, page here. But, um, yeah, it was a pretty good buy, and I uh, just got it authenticated. It came out real, and I'm really happy about it. Um, but we've just had an amazing week, haven't we? Yes, we did. 
that ball game last night, man, that was good. Yeah, and uh, even a guy, uh, so we were kind of late starting or going to the uh, the ball game. And our uh, we missed the uh, Star Spangled Banner or the, yeah, our Pledge of Allegiance uh, before the game. And, uh, but we made it in time uh, to have them uh, start throwing pitches. And uh, it was, uh, they, had, they had a barbershop quartet. And oh, boy, that quartet. God bless America. God bless America. And it was, it was moving. Mm -hmm. It was really moving. Yeah. They are on key, man. I'll tell you yeah, what. Every person standing. And we sang Take Me Out to the Ball Game, and uh, yeah, there was not one person sitting at that game. That was just a good game. Yeah. Well, we hope you enjoyed uh, looking at what we got at, uh, for JSA and uh, what we did at the game. And uh, see our last video where we went to the Tulsa Drillers, and you can see some cool moments there and a home run if you look in the video yeah yeah uh well we hope you enjoyed and uh thanks for watching no just cards if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe thanks all right bye bye